<clears throat> okay. So this is a, a video that covers something that I, I built and I made in order to, to address a specific problem that was already an issue for <laughs> for a lot of students. Okay. Taking up digital electronics or electronics uh digital design. Okay. So the the issue was the unavailability of logic analyzers. Okay. So the the concept was if we could use an existing Arduino to do the job of a logic analyzer. Okay. So I came up with, with two versions of this one. This one is the first one, the logic analyzer tool. So I have a an Arduino connected to COM5 at this point. So I'm uploading the program now to it. Okay. So for, for the video uh, published on 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 the site. Well, on YouTube, uh, you'll be able to see this particular uh, code, the links to it in the GitHub post. Okay. Okay. So I think I have a, yeah, I still have my Modbus turned on. Okay. So that's why it doesn't connect. Okay. So another software was using the same channel. Well, I call it channel. It's because of the uh, the way that one of the Modbus uh, uh, HMI uh, providers call it as a channel, but it's actually just a communications port. Okay. So we've uploaded the program, and you can use this tool by simply going to the serial plotter and you can see here you have the lines. Each line is actually a, the, the five volt position because we have an input pull up here. Okay, but if you're pretty confident uh, with without using an input pull up, you can just remove the pull up factor and just state its input so that it becomes the zero connection rather than the five volt connection. Okay, so when I connect or disconnect, sorry, in this case connect. The first pin, pin number two, ito yung pin na yun, to the ground, okay? You can see the behavior here. You know, nakakit lang siya. Now, pagka sinundot-sundot ko to, okay, when I connect and disconnect it, you can see that there are already pulses that are uh, occurring. Now, there's specific limitations to this one. Uh, the limitations of time. I'm guessing this one works on a one millisecond frame of reference, but I'm not so sure because I can see this one tracking at like for every 10 of these, it's already one second on the actual thing. So baka a fraction of a second. Okay. So by the way, ito yung, yung, yung GitHub link natin. So next, dun sa, sa, sa problem natin. Okay. So yung pins 2 to 13, yun lang yung laman nito. You can, of course, change out the, the position of this one by simply changing the numbers here. So magkakahiwalay kasi sila eh. Okay. So I made it a bit uneven kasi pangit nung una yung nalabas. Pero you can... Make it even the space kapag gagamitin nyo siya. Okay. So, balik tayo dun sa ano, demonstration. So, yan yung portion na yun. If I ended up uh, playing around with the other pins dito, I'm looking for wires that I can use. Okay. So, magkabit lang ako dito sa pin number. I think that's nine. Okay. Dikit-dikit pa lang siya. Ayun o. Nakikita nyo. You can see that the one near 80 is actually the one being processed. So, ganun lang siya. Simply just connect the, the pins of your Arduino with the this program loaded onto it. And uh, you can see the transactions or the signals uh, going out. Again, there's a limitation in terms of speed. I'm guessing, again, this is uh, a fraction of uh, 10 milliseconds to around 100 milliseconds. So I, I'm not so sure kung ano siya. Kasi, again, I'm using 
a Chinese clone version of the Arduino so mas mabagad yung yung chip for one reason or another now uh next dun sa ano listahan okay i can turn this one off and we can go to this one okay so yung code natin for this one is just the logic analyzer there's a second version yung analyzer that uses modbus okay so again the code is there okay you can read to the code but basically it does the same thing except now it's uh, saying zero and five lang okay mas organize siya in this way kasi dito magkakapatong yung signal set natin dito pwede magkakahiwa na yung signal set so i'm uh, going to load this one into the the uh, arduino wala na ako nakabukas na iba diba Okay, so it's loaded and it's done. Okay, for this one, you can't use the plotter because the plotter can't make any semblance ko ano yun na labas niya. Okay, you have to use a program called ModScan32. Okay, so I have a working license version of ModScan here. I'm setting the device ID to 10 because pag tiling na natin dito, nakaspecify siya sorry. This is the other one. Okay. Closing off that one. Okay. No. Oh. Yan. Okay. So, ito yung isa pa. Now, this one specifies that the slave ID is 10. The baud uh, rate is 9600. It's an 8 bit with one stop bit. Yung specification niya. Okay. So, set lang natin to. There are 16 digits dito sa ano natin. Okay. This is the wrong one. Okay. So, there are 16 digits dun sa register natin. So, make the length 16. And we set this one to the holding register. Okay. Tapos, pagka inano natin siya, kinonect natin, we can connect directly to COM5. And after a few seconds, it just needs to do a handshake. Lalabas na yung data natin. Okay. From this end, kapag kinapit ko ulit to, you can see, well, you should be able to see that the first holding register is changing its value. Okay. So, of course, you can uh, add on HMI to make this one a graphical format rather than numerical one but again it helps you to to visualize what on earth is happening to your processor okay so pagka iba yung kinabit ko dun sa aking zero na register at kinabit ko siya dito okay you should be able or we should be able to see one of the inputs actually changing state yun seven, yung six. So minu move ko lang kasi yung isa. By the way, this one has like a second para mag 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 reprocess siya. And that's one of the problems of the Modbus RTO approach. But numerically speaking and ano, uh, programming sense wise, mas, mas clear cut siya. Okay. So I don't know if this is useful for you, but in my case, yung original ko na, na item dito, which is this one, logic analyzer, is already good enough for me kung ako yung tatanayin just to, to do visualization. 